T minus 80 seconds. Locks GSE is secured. Second stage LX2 securing started. Second. RCO, report range go for launch. Second this is the RCO launch. on channel one, range is go for launch. Second stage lock secured. LCDR. LCDR, this is the LD, you are go for launch. Roger. T minus 60 seconds. Engine start box go. Hold, 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 ATC1, main script abort. Hold, 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 TM1, red alarm on system arm. AL personnel go to item 39. ALCDR verify hold fire on. Hold fire on. ALCDR established T5 script aborted. This is Delta Launch Control. You just heard a hold called out. So we will have to regroup, figure out the problem, and then uh, um, continue from there. So again, a hold was called, and we'll find out more and be back with you shortly. This is Delta Launch Control. First stage word bus armed. Telemetry internal. Control system internal. Bliss internal. ECU's internal. Vehicle transfer internal complete. T minus four minutes. Hold, hold, hold. Map script abort. AL personnel, go to item 39, ALCR, TC hold fire on. On. That was T5 script aborted. T5 script aborted. Actually, this is Delta Launch Control, and we have another hold call. LCR established. Another hold, so we will regroup and see where we go from here. minus five minutes and counting. Vehicle and, transferring internal. And the countdown clock has resumed, and we are go for launch at this time. T minus 285 seconds. Second stage telemetry internal. Second stage control internal. Beacon internal. CRD's internal. First stage word bus armed. Telemetry internal. Control internal. Bliss internal. ECU internal. Vehicle transfer internal complete. T minus four minutes. FTS SNA one and two armed. CBC SNA is armed. Vehicle ordnance armed. T minus 212 seconds. CBC propellant tank securing started. T minus 194 seconds. CBC locks is secured. T minus 187 seconds. CBC press bridge is on. CBC pre press started. CBC LH2 secure. CBC locks at flight pressure and flight level.
minus 120 seconds. TPA script running, second stage lock securing started. LCDR, this is the LD, you are go for launch. Hydraulic press at 4,000. CBC LH2 at flight pressure and flight level. This is Delta Launch Control, one minute, 40 seconds away from launch. T-minus 90 seconds. Second stage secure at flight level. T-minus 80 seconds. Second stage LH2 securing started. Locks GSE is secure. RCO report range go for launch. This is the RCO on channel one, ranges go for launch. LCDR, this is the LD, you are go for launch. Roger. T-minus 60 seconds. Engine start box, go. T-minus 50 seconds. T-minus 45 seconds. Launch, enable, enable. Power. Second stage LH2 secure at flight level. T minus 30 seconds. Green board. T minus 25 seconds. Flight lock in. T minus 15 seconds. That is armed. Row for ignition. T minus 10, 9, 9 8, 7, 6, 6 5. Five. We have four, ignition of the main engines. Three, 2, 1, 0. We have Lift liftoff. Engine cooling two, water activated. Three, liftoff of United four, Launch Alliance Delta IV heavy rocket carrying the NROL 26 mission for the National Reconnaissance Office. Full power level on the port core and starboard Field boosters. Sir. Right where we want them to be. T plus 36 seconds. Still going good. We are listening to Steve Agate in the telemetry lab calling good out the flight data holding. in real time. Good nozzle steering. Coming up on 50 seconds. Partial thrust mode has been commanded in the core booster. Core booster chamber pressures are decreasing to the expected levels. Port and starboard boosters still at full power. One minute, 18 seconds into the flight. Passing the area of maximum dynamic pressure, MACQ, and also uh, passing Mach 1. Chamber pressure is continuing to look good on both the port and the starboard boosters. In the full power mode, core booster, partial thrust. E plus, one minute, 48 seconds into the flight. Altitude now 3.7 nautical miles. Velocity 1,764 feet per second. 1.1 nautical miles downrange. This is Delta Launch Control. Two minutes. Two into minutes the mission. into the flight. And in a little looking over at our two chamber minutes, pressures. We'll have chamber CBC pressures continuing to look good. Engine cutoff, and everything looks good at this point. This is Delta Port Launch Control. Starboard booster still at full power. Core booster at the partial thrust mode. Passing 2 minutes 30 seconds. Still continuing to look good. Main engine nozzle movement is good. Now passing 2 minutes 42 seconds into the flight. Delta vehicle now only weighs one half of what it did at launch 2 minutes 45 seconds ago. We're now expelling propellant at the rate of about 4,700 pounds per second. 
Two minutes, 55 seconds into the flight. Altitude, 15.5 nautical miles. Velocity, 3,700, 99 feet per second. 12.4 nautical miles downrange. Now passing three minutes. Chamber pressure is continuing to look good in the port and starboard boosters at the full thrust mode. Core booster at partial thrust. Now passing three minutes, 30 seconds. Less than a half a minute now remaining in three booster flight. Standing by to go to the partial thrust mode on the port and starboard booster. That should be about 10 seconds from now. Partial thrust mode has been commanded. All three boosters now in partial thrust mode. Standing by for Miko. And we have Miko in the port and the starboard boosters. Standing by for SEP. The core booster has now powered up to full power mode. This is Delta Launch Control, about five minutes into the Delta IV Heavy mission. And in another 30, or 30 seconds or so, we will have Miko or main engine cutoff, then we'll see first and second stage separation, followed by second stage ignition and payload fairing jettison. This is Delta Launch Control. Do you want to loop forward? Copy. Getting ready to toggle down the partial thrust mode in the core. Core booster, we have Miko. Okay, we have good chamber pressure on the second stage. We have good uh, igniter spark, good net speed. Good chamber pressure on the second stage, right where we want it to be. Passing seven minutes into the flight. We've had a good uh, payload uh, tearing step. This is Delta Launch Control. We've just seen the successful liftoff of the NROL 26 mission for the Delta IV, NRO, and U.S. Air Force team. Let's quickly go back and recap some of the important milestones 
from this mission. Liftoff occurred at 9.47 p.m. Eastern Time. The CBCs were jettisoned at four minutes. Main engine cutoff was on time at approximately five and a half minutes into flight. First stage separation occurred just a few seconds after main engine cutoff, and the payload fairing was jettisoned just under seven minutes into the mission. And that was our final milestone right there that uh, you just saw on STK. I'd like to thank Steve Agate from the Delta Telemetry Lab for his support of this broadcast. At the request of our customer, this concludes our live coverage of the Delta IV Heavy NROL 26 mission. For more information about the Delta IV, please visit www.ulalaunch.com. On behalf of the entire ULA launch team, I'm Doug Shores. Thanks very much for joining us. We leave you now with one last look at the launch of the Delta IV Heavy rocket carrying the NROL 26 mission for the National Reconnaissance Office. Have a great night.